I want to talk about gold, a lot more please. Why isn't it much higher in price if Ben Bernanke keeps on printing money? Joining us now is Peter Schiff from Euro Capital Pacific. Peter, you've often said, and you've said it on this program, look, gold is going to go up. Now, I understand that you're probably sticking with that prediction, gold is going to go up in the long term, but why hasn't it gone up very much in the last year, year and a half, when Ben and everybody else is printing like, a, like crazy? Yeah, well, first of all, remember, we had a huge move in the last 10 years. Gold started this bull market from under $300 an ounce. So it had a big move from $300 to close to $1,900. So it has been consolidating for the last couple of years. I think it's preparing for another big move up. But I think a lot of people just don't understand uh, the, 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 the situation. People think that the problems have been solved. They think that the global economy is out of the woods. Uh, that the worst is over for the U.S., stock markets are rising, now the euro is rising, people are complacent now about the problems over there, and they think there's no reason to own gold. And I think they're making the mistake. The only reason that it looks like the problems are getting better is because the governments around the world are creating so much inflation to cover them up. And it's inflation that is driving the stock market higher. You mentioned gas prices. Inflation is driving gas prices up. Pretty soon people are going to realize that inflation is a lot worse uh, than the government's let on. Well, and I yeah. think people are going to start to embrace gold again in a big way. Hold on a second, Peter. We've got Japan saying today, we must have inflation. We want some inflation because they've had a period of deflation. So they're printing yen like crazy. And the new prime minister says, hey, you, the Central Bank of Japan, if you don't print a lot of money, we'll change the rules on the Bank of Japan. We'll make you print more. They, have to, they don't have inflation, Peter. Well, sure they do. I mean, this, this deflation is a ruse. Prices aren't collapsing in Japan. They never were. Prices I mean, are the they same weren't in rising, Japan today. Uh, but that was good for the Japanese consumer. Okay, but, they, I mean, hmm, the prices. Me? Hold on a second, Peter. There, there is no inflation in Japan. The price level today is virtually unchanged from what it was three, five years ago. It's not that. But inflation is an expansion in the money supply and the supply of credit, and you do have that. Uh, but you had some dynamics that were keeping consumer prices in check despite all that inflation. But, you know, that's going to change in Japan. The Japanese are going to start to see big increases in consumer prices, and they're not going to like it. And look, take a look at the U.K. I mean, they're tolerating inflation is really picking up for the U.K., yet they don't care. They're going to keep printing it, printing money. In fact, inflation is the new monetary policy. Central it banks is. are creating right. inflation, you're so right. governments don't have to default Peter, on right their debts on that. so they can inflate right them away. That. And the prop but, up asset prices. Markets anticipate, and I, I think you're right, everybody's printing, and the, everybody's printing money. You're right on that. There's no question about it. But markets anticipate. So why isn't the gold market anticipating the inflation? Why not? I mean, gold's well, going down. I, I don't think that markets have done a very good job of anticipating anything. I mean, you remember what, during the housing bubble, uh, real estate prices kept rising, mortgages were rising in value, the housing bubble, the collapse was right around the corner, the markets didn't anticipate any of that. I think often markets are blindsided uh, because so many people don't really understand the dynamics and they're doing the wrong thing. But eventually reality is going to catch up uh, with, with, with the markets and then the markets are going to react in a big way. Okay. I believe on this program you said, and this was a few years ago, I think you said that sooner or later a house is going to be worth less than an ounce of gold or a, a measurement of gold. You stick into that? Not, not a house. I said, I, I said the, the stock market. I, I've been predicting that the Dow and the stock market would be about one to one. I started making that prediction when it was over 40 to one. Now it's around, what, eight or nine to one. I think it got into the sixes at one point. But I also said about houses that housing prices are going to continue to fall as measured by gold, uh, especially if they create a lot of inflation to keep propping up nominal home prices, which, exact, which is exactly what the Fed is doing. But uh, real home prices are going to fall that much more. I mean, you talked about gas prices before I came on, and it's not just gas. It's food prices that are really going up. It's the price of everything that's going up. It's just that the government doesn't acknowledge the pain that consumers feel because they've got these phony numbers, the CPI, that were deliberately designed to hide inflation. And because we export so many of our dollars, we have a huge trade deficit. And now these foreign central banks are buying treasuries. Okay. So you see the inflation in the bond market. I've got to have uh, a time but eventually frame. that bond bubble is going to burst and all that money is going to chase real goods. I've got to have a time frame.
I mean, it's very easy to say that at some point in the distant future, the price of gold will go to $3,000 an ounce or whatever. Give me a time frame. How long will it yeah, take? Yeah, I don't think for it's in the distant to, future. Uh, but okay, okay. Still, I want a time I'm, not screwed, I'm not smart enough to know exactly when. But I would be shocked Is it years? if we went for another two or three years and we didn't have an explosive move up in the price of gold. I think it's going to hit the fan during Obama's second term. So maybe 2013, 2014, we're going to have a currency crisis. We're going to have a sovereign debt crisis. And gold is going to do very well in that environment. Unfortunately, the U.S. economy is going to suffer. All right. Peter Schiff, we always enjoy having you on the show, and we appreciate you being with us. Come again soon. Thank you, sir.